my blood sugar right now is 150 and stable. Kind of over treated a low before church. So, like that's one of my biggest fears is going low in church and having the alarm scream off and have people stare at me. So like my blood sugar was like 78, which isn't really low. And I feel fine at that level. Excuse my phone. I feel fine at that level, but I just didn't want it to drop any lower in church because we used to go up and down. I'm Catholic. It's Palm Sunday. We go up and down and kneel and up and down and up and down. I just didn't want to like drop low or anything. So I took two glucose tablets, which is way more than I normally take. And I paid the price for it. Now I'm 150. So I'm going to bolus one unit for these lovely glucose tablets. One unit of Humalog drops me about 60 to 70 milligrams per deciliter, um, which should bring me down into a normal range. Um, a half a unit is just a little too light. Um, I want to go down uh, at least 100 or a little bit lower. And I'm not going to be doing a lot of activity, and it might take a little time for it to come down. That's why my cheeks are kind of red. Um, I could feel my blood sugar go up in church. But here's one unit. I use Humalog Junior, which all that means is it is Humalog or Insulin Lice Pro. It is the same insulin, but I'm able to dial in half of units. So this is like one unit. This is one and a half units, etc., etc. We're going to be doing one unit. I'll pop it in. Just like that. I'm good to go. In about 15 to 20 minutes, this should kick in, and I am good to go. First time I think I've ever did an injection right on camera, um, but what the heck, eh? Always time for something new. But anyways, that is done. We'll jump right into today's bonus video. it's Maddie welcome or welcome back to my channel and as you can tell by the title of this video I'm gonna be throwing on my Omnipod demo kit for you guys the, the demo pod kind of my first impressions what do I think about this Omnipod demo kit um, and am I considering having this as an insulin pump so I'm in the process of possibly getting an insulin pump uh, I'll speak more about like why I probably am gonna go with Omnipod later um, versus other pumps um, in a future video maybe in another week I'll come back because I'll know uh, quite shortly here today is April the 13th 2019 um, so I'm gonna be knowing in a few days um, whether or not I'm gonna end up uh, purchasing this and going forward with an insulin pump um, I already called Omnipod I have a quote from them uh, I filled out their patient information form um, but I'm gonna call them back on Wednesday and discuss a few more things um, because I want to make sure I actually like this first and wear it for the three days before I fully decide to go for it. Pretty sure if I don't like this, um, I'm gonna end up just going on um, staying on multiple daily injections until better insulin pumps come out. Um, but like I said, I'm gonna explain more of that later. But um, I'm gonna jump right into opening it up. So I already had a look of a sneak preview at it. But if you look inside, they give you the demo pump and how to apply it. And there's like information here about like the whole like demo what the like Omnipod dash system looks like which is kind of cool that um, I'd be getting like the newest type of uh, system. So in here is the demo pod. I felt it to feel like the weight of it already but they come with an alcohol swab and how to put it on and this is what the actual pod looks like for those of you that don't know this is a non-functioning pod. It will not prick you. It will not put the a cannula inside of you. It is not live. It is not active. Um, but this is mimicking where you would place insulin and this is where the cannula comes out and I'm like really impressed at how lightweight this is. I can't believe that this thing can hold like 200 units of insulin. It's crazy to me. Um, and the adhesive from what I'm feeling right now, it feels very comfortable like a Dexcom adhesive. Um, as Maddie takes her shirt off here, I tried a new spot for Dexcom, another random story for you. Um, and it bled, um, you probably saw my post already, um, about that. I, I think I posted about it, um, I'll probably post about it later today, but you've probably already seen that I had a little bit of bleeding going on in here. I put it on more of like a musclier part of my arm. I didn't want it quite up here because it just gets caught. So I quick slapped it on, did it myself yesterday and it bled, but it seems to be reading really well. Um, it's catching blood sugars where they're supposed to be. Um, it's really, it was a little bit, uh, stinging when I first put it on, but as far as, like, now, it's not uncomfortable to wear, and I find, like, this part of my arm, like, it doesn't snag on my bra strap as much, or it doesn't snag on shirts, so I'm very, very pleased with this placement of the Dexcom, um, and I'm gonna apply the Omnipod on my arm, 
Now, um, the reason why I'm applying it on my arm is because I kind of took this out and placed it like on my stomach and on my thigh. Um, I am very comfortable with wearing stuff in those locations um, because I know it's not a lot of pain and it's not going to get in the way. But I truly want to know, can this hold up for three days with the adhesive itself, with me not getting an allergic reaction on my arm? And I'm looking at applying it somewhere in this area because this is where I have the most subcutaneous tissue. Kind of in a little bit similar area to where the Dexcom is, but a little bit further up. So I'll be looking at it applying it here. But if I were to get this, I would be getting the Omnipod Dash system, which for you guys that don't know, the PDM is touchscreen and a few other things. Uh, if, I think these pods are Bluetooth connected now, and I think they're smaller than the, than the original Omnipods. Um, you can tell it is not very big, um, which is kind of amazing to me. I think I can get the size for you guys. Um, they give you like a bunch of like guides in here and like the spot experience kit, like how to contact customer service, what comes with it. Um, and it says here that the pot is one and a half, 1.53 inches wide by 2.05 uh, inches long and about 0.57 inches high. So you're talking an inch and a half wide by two inches long by a half inch high. So it's very, very small. Um, the Dexcom is just a little bit thinner than the actual pod. I don't know if you guys can see that. The Dexcom um, G6 is just a little bit thinner than that. But obviously this needs to hold insulin, so it has to have some thickness to it. It can't be that thin or you're going to end up having issues. Um, for the specifications, you can do minimum basal rates for 0 units an hour. Maximum is 30. You can uh, adjust things by 0 0.05, which is amazing. Part of the reason why I'm interested in switching to a pump is to have better control of basal rate. Not like I'm saying I don't have good control on multiple daily injections now, and I don't mind taking shots. But, however, going back to school, being very active, and the fact that, like, in church today, um, I was scared to go low, and I was more willing to go high. Um, and my definition of high is, like, what you just saw there, above 140. Um, I was more willing to go high because I didn't want to go low in church. And I think a pump would have been so convenient to just hit a button and say, okay, I don't want any insulin for a half an hour. And that may have brought my blood sugar from 70 to 115 and I would have coasted there perfectly and then would have turned the insulin back on and it would have been great. Um, when you take a basal dose of insulin, um, you give yourself a whole injection and hope and hope and pray to God that that blanket of insulin covers you 24 hours. I personally notice, especially when I'm on my period or have more insulin resistant days, that my basal dose does not last as long. By about 18 to 17 to 18 hours after I take my injection, uh, I take my injection about 10 o'clock in the morning or 10 o'clock at night, 9.45 at night. By about 3, 2 or 3 in the afternoon, sometimes my blood sugar will start randomly heading up to like 140 and I have to take a shot of Humalog to kind of bring that down and keep my blood sugars in as normal uh, and to keep my blood sugars as normal and non-diabetic as possible. I think an Omnipod insulin pump or an insulin pump in general would help with that um, because you're guaranteed so many units an hour for basal insulin. You're not going to be missing that uh, um missing that timing. Now with insulin pumps, you only take one type of insulin. I would be using just Humalog and the Humalog would be dispensed as normal bolus insulin like I just did. And it would also dispense so many units an hour. Um, right now, I think I would be equivalent to a half a unit of hour because I take 12 units of Basaglar before I go to sleep. So um, you're talking about half a unit an hour or a little bit less than a half a unit an hour because uh, typically when you go on a pump, you usually need a little less basal insulin than what you take in an injection. Uh, for a typical long-acting insulin, so that'll be kind of nice. So I don't really need that much an hour, um, but it's going to be nice knowing that I'm guaranteed that amount of basal insulin an hour to maybe prevent some really random blood sugars that are just randomly start heading up for no apparent reason without stress, anxiety, uh, you get the point. So I kind of gave you some of the specifications on this. Um, with the Omnipod Dash, there is no PD, uh, the, on the PDM previous, they had a blood glucose um, meter hooked into it. Um, I believe it was like a freestyle type meter, um, but now they don't have that and it comes with a contour next meter, which Bluetooth syncs to your um, PDM. So like if I wanted to test my blood sugar, I wouldn't use my one touch Vario. I could still, um, but I would test my blood sugar on a contour meter and it would automatically Bluetooth to the PDM and say, okay, her blood sugar's 130 and she's going to eat this many carbs and um, I could even input stuff from my Dexcom. My blood sugar says I'm 130 with a straight arrow headed up. It recommends I only give this for a 130, but because my blood sugar is headed up really fast, I want to give a little bit more. Um, it's just going to make things a little bit more convenient. So I'm going to apply this pod now. Um, I probably will put a sticker on this, and I will show you a picture 
of what I put on here after I place it on my arm. Um, I probably just decorate it just because if this is the only Omnipod insulin pump I get to decorate, cool with me. But um, it says you could place it on your arm, on your leg, or on your stomach. They do recommend if you place it on your like stomach or back to do it horizontally. And if you place it on your thigh or arm, you can do it vertically, but you can do it either direction. You can do it with the cannula facing down or the cannula facing up. I'm going to try doing it with the cannula facing down just to start because um, that's how I see a lot of people do it. Um, and that's how I'm going to kind of do this demo kit. So we're going to apply this right now. First thing it says... Remove the paper backing and apply the pot to the preferred site. Run your finger over the adhesive backing. Well, I forgot to read step one. Hang on. Use the enclosed alcohol wipe to clean your selected site. Then let air dry thoroughly. Do not blow on the site to dry it. So here's the alcohol swab. It's a BD one. I know exactly what these are. These are thicker. Um, I kind of really like the BD um, alcohol prep pads because they are a little thicker. But I also do like the dollar store ones because they're thinner. <laughs> I don't know, like thick ones, I feel like you waste so much alcohol. But like thinner ones, like they just do the basic job and you're good. Um, my arm dirty? I don't know if my arm was dirty or not. I'm kind of making a comedy show out of this video, you guys. Um, and I probably made this video 20 minutes long just talking about an Omnipod demo kit. Okay, people? Um, but anyways, I'm going to let that dry. It says not to blow on it, so I'm going to wave on it. Just kind of let it dry. Like, I don't think it's as big of an issue because this is a demo kit. There's no cannula actually being inserted into my skin. Not like there's an actual needle going in me like the Dexcom. But anyways, we're going to do that. Okay, now that this is dry, it now says remove the paper backing and apply the pod to your preferred site. Run your finger over the adhesive backing. Wear the pod up to three days, then remove and discard it. Baby oil or similar oils can help loosen the adhesive if necessary. So I will put a, um, I will write down like when I am supposed to take this off. But the adhesive is kind of nice. It peels off really nice like the Dexcom. Um, so I'm just going to kind of like see. How I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kind of do it like I do the Dexcom. Just kind of place it. fingers over the adhesive so far um, the adhesive is very comfortable it feels like a Dexcom adhesive it doesn't feel like it's gonna peel it feels very soft it doesn't itch so far um, but I will let you guys know um, next week if I do decide to get this um, if I'm gonna go with it and if I had any reactions or any problems with it but we're gonna see if this hangs on for three days oh my god this is light like I don't even feel wearing it um my most nervous thing is probably like the weight of it is it gonna like weigh me down but it feels just slightly heavier than like wearing a Dexcom adhesive it doesn't feel like it's gonna rip and it just feels like there's like it feels like I almost got like a piece of gunk on my skin it doesn't feel like it's gonna fall off which is kind of cool um and I'm bending my arm, you know, all these different directions, and I sleep. This is probably going to be the weirdest place to, like, um, do this. The reason why, like I said, I do it on my arm is because this is probably the place where it'll get ripped out. Or a place where um, it might possibly fall out while sleeping or being active. Um, but that's part of the reason why I chose the Omnipod is not to have tubes um, uh, and uh, all that tubing and all the cords and crap. Because I probably would end up ripping my side out in the middle of the night. But so far, it's so good. This feels very comfortable. Um, it feels very smooth. I don't feel like it's going to fall off. I don't feel like we're going to have a reaction here. It feels the same to me as the Dexcom adhesive. The Dexcom does kind of is peeling up, but I know I could get like a little bit of like IV tape or medical tape to put around this um, if I start noticing it's peeling up before the three days. So the time right now is 6.02 p.m. on April the 13th. So on April 16th, so you're talking Tuesday, by the time Tuesday rolls around uh, at 6 o'clock at night, I can rip this off, and I've had my full demo pod experience. So I will let you guys know how I enjoy this um, in the week after. Hopefully I'll do another bonus video. I'm putting up this video on Monday, uh, April 15th. That's tax day, right? Yeah, it's the end of the day of tax day. If you're in America, I better file your taxes. Um, anyways, I'll put this video up on Monday, April the 15th. 
and um, it'll be a bonus video. Hope you guys enjoy it when it does go up. And I'm thinking about the following Monday doing an actual, am I getting this? Um, do I like it? How was my three day Potter experience? So anyways, if you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up. Feel free to hit that subscribe button down below. I post videos every week about diabetes plus more. And sometimes I throw up random videos like this one. Um, if any of you use the Omnipod insulin pump, um, give me some suggestions down below because if I do end up going with this, I'm going to need lots of um, suggestions, maybe for pump sites, um, how you keep your adhesive on, uh, have you had any poor experiences with it? I do know that Omnipod can be prone to static and having the pod fail, but I did hear that if you coat this in duct tape and decorate it with duct tape, that it doesn't, if you wear like a sweater over it, that it's not going to like get staticky. It's kind of like the equivalent of a person with a tubed pump getting their sight ripped out and the sight failing like that. Um, so let me know if you guys have had any problems, the pros, the cons of more, you know, your experiences with the Omnipod. I am not a problem uh, listening to you guys. Um, but I think for now, this is the reason why I chose this site. Like I said, is because this is probably the site where I might have the most trouble as far as like ripping things out and stuff. Um, but I do really love my arms for absorption for insulin. I use my arms and stomach typically. I use all my stomach, the side of my stomach, my arms for injections, and occasionally the thighs. Um, so I'm not going to have a problem putting this on my stomach or on my thighs, but I want to see how the back of my arm goes. So until next time for another video, take care, God bless, be kind, spread positivity, and be thankful. Bye, everyone.